Welcome back to Talking Story. My name is John Minton, and it's getting to be my favorite part of the week, guys. The end of one week, moving into another week, we kind of slow down, we hang out, we talk books together. Um, first off, if you've checked us out a couple times and you haven't hit that little subscribe button right down there, that little thumbs up button, click both those for us. It helps us build everything here at uh, Talking Story, and it would be awesome if you just click the like and subscribe. Uh, moving on, I hope you guys have Labor Day off tomorrow. I hope you have a long weekend. I hope you're able to fire up the grill and throw anything on there that you may want and that you like. Uh, I know I do. Uh, it wasn't always the case, and I'm going to enjoy every bit of it. Uh, my short week, I hope you guys get to as well. Uh, and I got a nice cold beverage. To slow down and hang out with you guys and talk some books. So let's get right to it. What did I get read this week for my birthday month of presents to myself? Books that I know are going to be five stars with me. I'm wrapping up the Empire Trilogy. This is the second trilogy of Raymond Feist's Rift War Saga. This one he wrote with Jannie Wirtz. And I'm on the third book, Mistress of the Empire. The first two books have been phenomenal. Some of the best political fantasy that I have ever read. If it lands the way I think it's going to land... This could absolutely make my all-time list. I'm about, I'm a good halfway through. Uh, by the end of the night, I'll for sure be maybe a little over halfway through. And um, this book three was a little bit of a, I'm not going to say a rocky start, but different. Different. When you're dealing with two authors, I, I, I think, I'm just guessing, but I think as they pass the baton back and forth, uh, the character just struck me as a little bit different at the beginning of this book. Um, just some motivational character things that I just didn't quite recognize. Uh, but in defense of the writers, uh, the character had suffered something major. I mean, this book starts off with a bang. Um, and I read this back in the day when it first came out in eighty late 80s. And I thought I finished the trilogy, but I did not remember how this started. And it starts... You know, wow, I, could, I couldn't, if I'd have read it, I would have remembered that. So now I'm thinking I didn't finish this trilogy uh, because not, not much of this third book is familiar. But anyway, I'm about halfway through and it's absolutely recouped. It's kind of back to that 10 out of 10, five star level that the first two books were for me. So uh, I look forward to finishing that up. While I was working on that, guys, and I knew I was not going to have this done by next week, ready for a review, and I, I have committed to have one review a week because I want to get one review a week out for you guys, week in, week out, so you always have recommendations. So I knew I wasn't going to have it. This is a little bit of a chunky, chunky boy, so I switched over for one of my other birthday reads so I can have a full review for you coming up this week, and I started and finished The Donut Legion by Joe R. Lansdale. This was chosen for my birthday read, month long of birthday reads for a reason. Joe R. Lansdale is one of my all time, all time favorite writers. He doesn't get enough love on BookTube. I'm gonna change that. This was absolutely great. I don't wanna go too far into it. Uh, all I can tell you is if you've never read Joe R. Lansdale before, you're about to be a fan after my after my full review. He, he, he is the mucho mojo storyteller, his own self. He will absolutely transport you to that mythical land of Texas. And the, he writes all kinds of stuff, sci-fi, horror, crime. This is kind of a mystery crime uh, thriller and always has his quirky, crazy sense of humor, laugh out loud funny, great whodunit. I will have a full review coming up this week for you guys. And that delivered on every level. And I also, one of the comics we've been tracking, guys, World Tree by James Tinian. Remember, uh, at the midway point of the year, one of my best reads of the year was Nice House on the Lake by James Tinian, the comic. So I wanted to follow everything he does going forward. He has this new comic from Image called World Tree. Uh, I did notice that... It wraps up the first story arc after the first five issues, so I had all five issues. So I sat down and gave this a quick read, and wow, do yourself an absolute favor. Next month is October. It's spooky read season. This has already been announced. I think it's on Amazon. It's everywhere you buy your comics. They're putting out a trade paperback of these first five issues. Um, this is a pure pure comic hit. I think issue one is now in its fifth printing. 
I think all the way up through issue five, and it just came out this week, is up to like its second or third printing. Uh, so single issues may be hard to find, uh, but already been announced as a trade paperback with all five of these issues coming out in one volume. If you want a great, a great spooky read for spooky read season on October, Order this from Amazon. Get it as soon as you can. I mean, just as a real quick teaser of what this is about, if you're wondering, it's out there, so it's hard to encapsulate. But think about the World Wide Web. If you're just letting your fingers do the talking and going from site to site, going down the rabbit hole, checking out different things, seeing what happens, and then all of a sudden you kind of go so far down into the web. Think about multiverses and other worlds, other realities. They're using the same cyberspace, and in that cyberspace, you can butt up against the cyberspace of an alternate world or an alternate reality, and that alternate world or reality could be an absolute hellscape. And what happens to you from just viewing what happens on their cyberspace can be full-on possession, and it it's a great social commentary. It goes into... Uh, the, the mass shootings that are that are so prevalent in our country right now, and it gives a reason for everyone being out of kilter and angry. And th this is a phenomenal, phenomenal horror comic read. I can't stress it enough. World Tree by James Tinian, and the art is by, well, I don't, I don't have my cheaters on. I, I, I'll get the art for you guys, but this, I cannot stress enough how great that was. Uh, and that's kind of where I'm at reading wise for the week. Um, I kind of been trying to catch up on some TV lately. I'm trying to catch up on Justified, uh, Primeval. I'm almost up to that. I, I don't know if any fans of Justified out there. I, it just doesn't have the magic for me of the original series. I miss I miss some of the original characters. Uh, I'm caught up with Ahsoka. And just as a performer watching it, I just think that the franchise of Star Wars is being treated almost with kit gloves or too much reverence. The, the, the performances are almost, to me, they just look so stylized. It's almost like a Greek chorus type of thing. I mean, I catch people, and I'm not sure where it's coming from. Maybe the director wants a certain picture. Uh, but, I, but I catch actors just going, look at the screen, and just leaving their arm there and while they talk. And it's just like, that's just presentational, stylized, weird stuff, man. Like, they're not really living within the universe, which is very much what George Lucas started in the beginning, which was so, uh, drew everybody in. I, there's just something about it. The excitement for me is gone. It's just not grabbing me. Uh, I am caught up on Foundation Anybody that likes Isaac Asimov stuff, it is a little different, but the spirit is there and the production value is so amazingly high and so gorgeous to look at and so thought-provoking and interesting. I would recommend that. And one more TV note before we go, guys. And this is starting on Apple TV Plus the 8th of this month, this coming Friday. They have adapted The Changeling by Victor Laval. Now, if you guys are not reading Victor Laval, if you have not picked up this book, this is another great read for Spooky Read Season if you haven't read it before. This is like a dark urban fantasy, a, a new modern reimagining of a dark fairy tale in New York City, and it deals with the themes of... Uh, our family past, do we have to pay for the sins of our family lineage and our family history? What makes us from our past? How do we overcome that? Um, the, our, our myths and legends, are they just around the corner from our reality? And of course, Victor always, class, race, that type of thing. This is a great, great read. And I have real hope because following Victor on social media, I think he was absolutely involved in the production of this on Apple TV Plus. And so far, Apple TV Plus with Foundation and Silo and For All Mankind, I, for me, they're I'm becoming the preeminent streamer out there for science fiction. Not so much horror or fantasy yet, but hopefully that's just around the corner. But it could this could be step one as a dark fantasy. Coming up September 8th, put it on your calendar. Check it out. The trailer is already out there. If you have Apple TV+, Plus, if you've heard of Victor Laval, if you have not heard of Victor Laval, this is must-watch TV. I don't hear a lot of other YouTubers talking about this in their news segments and stuff like that, so I really wanted to shine a spotlight on this because 
great writer and a really cool guy. Uh, he taught where my wife got her MFA in creative writing, and I, I sat and talked with him a couple times. Lovecraft fan, super cool guy, and uh, I really, really think and hope you check out The Changeling on Apple TV Plus if you've got that. Um, it's pretty much it for me, guys, wrapping up. Coming up this week on the channel, we're going to have a full review of The Donut Legion by Joe R. Lansdale. We're going to wrap up everything we read and did in August um, and, you know, come back around on Sunday. We're all going to hang out, have a little something to drink at the end of one week before the start of another to kind of decompress and take a deep breath and talk about books together. Uh, thanks so much for hanging out, guys. Like subscribe hit me up in the comment section what are you reading if you have any questions about any of these things hit me up if you have any questions about anything personal questions questions about uh the film festival that my son and his best friend co-director got into uh ask questions about that i will get back an answer to you what i'm finding is the most amazing part of booktube for me is having a community to hang out and talk books with and being a part of a community and and going back and forth in the comment sections has been the most exciting part of booktube for me i absolutely love it so hit me up in the comments so that's it guys until next week thank you so much for hanging out my name is john minton and this has been talking story